Hi everyone. Let's figure out how to find the sum of the squares of the elements of a row of Pascal's triangle. We'll start off by drawing a few rows. 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1, and that's, that should be all we need for now. So let's take a look at one of these rows. Let's say this one. This, this, and this. If we take the sum of the squares of these elements, we get 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 square, which equals to 1 plus 4 plus 1, and that equals to 6. And if you skip down two rows, you'll notice that 6 also appears down here. So the conjecture that we'll attempt to prove is that the sum of the squares of n choose k squared for k equals to 0 through n is equal to 2n choose n. And we'll see very quickly why this is true. So it's not immediately obvious why it's true, but it does become much clearer if we use symmetry in Pascal's triangle. What symmetry says is that n choose k is equal to n choose n minus k. So we have the symmetry, for example, this element here is equal to this element here. So there's a symmetry across the center of the triangle. And we're going to use this on each element of these, this, these squared elements. Um, there's, there's the same thing multiplied by itself and we'll apply it to one of the copies of it. So what we get is that the sum of k equals to 0 through n of n choose k squared is equal to the sum of k equals to 0 through n of n choose k times n choose n minus k. And what we want to prove is that this is equal to 2n choose n. So we'll use a committee building proof. So it's, a, it's called a combinatorial proof. And this is going to be a committee made up of cats and dogs. Let's say we have n dogs and n cats. And out of these, we want to choose n animals. So clearly, the obvious way of doing it is this one, which is 2n choose n. But we could also do casework on the number of dogs. The number of dogs can be k equals to 0, 1, 2, all the way through to n. And the corresponding number of cats is n, n minus 1, n minus 2, all the way through to 0. So what we get is that it's equal to the sum of k equals to 0 through n of n choose k times n choose n minus k. And that proves the identity that we were seeking. And if you're wondering whether this generalizes, it does. We can replace the one of the n's with an m. And um, that's called Vandermond's identity. And that's going to be the subject of a future video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.